Hi, welcome to this tutorial, the third in my series on permutations and combinations. Now in this tutorial what we're going to look at is how many different ways we can rearrange a word where the letters in the word quite often repeat. And I've got the word here I. We've got a couple of E's in this one and I've chosen this one as an example purely because there's very few letters in it and it's a good starting point. So if we're to work out how many different ways we can arrange the letters in the word I, what we do is we put subscripts on the letters that repeat themselves. So I've got E1 and E2 here. So I can regard this as being made up of three different letters, if you like. And we've seen in the past tutorials that if you've got three different items, you can arrange them in three factorial ways. That's three times two times one, six different ways. And here they are. So if they were all different, the number of arrangements, if we just write it up here, would be 3 factorial. So just write this intro here. 3 factorial, as I say, comes to 6. But we know that they're not all different. They haven't got subscripts on these E's. So if we were to take the subscripts away, we would get these 6 here. But can you see that this block here looks exactly the same. Okay, these two exactly the same. And with these two, these are exactly the same and the same applies here. So in fact, I haven't really got six different arrangements. What happens is that if we put these subscripts back in, when we look at this block here, the E's can interchange or rearrange amongst themselves two factorial times. Two factorial being two times one or two different ways. So what I've got to do is divide this then by two factorial, the number of ways that the E's can rearrange amongst themselves. So what we get now is basically three times two times one for three factorial divided by the 2 factorial 2 times 1. And if you work this out, you can cancel out the 2 times 1, top and bottom, and you're left with 3. Three different arrangements of the word I. Because, as I say, we could group this one, this one, and this one together and take away those subscripts because they look exactly the same word. Okay? So we've just got the one, two, three. Now I'll give you another example where we extend this a little further. Now in this example, what I've got is how many ways can the letters of the word statistic be arranged? And if I was doing this, I would write out the word statistic. I've given a lot more space between the letters because what we've got here is that the letter S occurs several times over. So I would put a subscript against that one. We've got one S there. We've got another one here, S2. Two S's. What about the T's? Well, we've got T1 here, T2, and T3. And when it comes to the I's, we've got one I there, I1, and another I there, I2. Now, when it comes to working out the number of arrangements, let's just put that down here, number of arrangements, I've got to think about how many there would be if all the letters were different. Well, I've got nine letters here, okay, so that would be nine factorial ways of arranging them amongst themselves. But they're not all different. You can see we've got several S's, two of them in fact. So as far as the S's go, we're going to need to divide by the number of ways that they can rearrange amongst themselves, which is going to be 
2 factorial. When it comes to the t's, any of the t's can be rearranged amongst themselves 3 factorial ways. And finally, for the i's, because there's two i's there, they can be rearranged amongst themselves two factorial ways. So what we've got then is that this comes to 15120, 15,120. So I hope you can see then how we go about finding the number of arrangements of letters in a word when several of the letters are repeated. OK, well I hope that's been of some use to you and as usual, thanks for listening.